Good afternoon, everybody. My topic is role of 2% rebapamide ophthalmic suspension in the management of dry eye syndrome. Uh, my All India uh, conference number is S20410. Uh, according to D2 classification, uh, dry eye was again defined it as a multifactorial disease with adding some few terms like loss of homeostasis or of the tear film and accompanied by ocular symptoms in which tear film instability, hyperosmolarity, ocular surface inflammation and damage played an important role accompanied by neurosensory abnormality which also plays a etiological role. As you can see, in uh, Asian countries, uh, prevalence of dry eye syndrome is more when compared to American and Australian countries. So it has a neg uh, negative impact on the patient's quality of life with potential side-threatening consequences. So uh, there were many uh, newer drugs so that we can uh, address directly to the etiology of the drugs, no not just improving the symptoms of the dry eye. So rebapamide was one such novel uh, quinolone derivative. It is a mucin secretagogue initially marketed in Japan for the ma management of gastric mucosal diseases like gastric ulcers. It was launched in Japan uh, in 2012 uh, for the treatment of dry eye. It increases the it, in, it increased the secretion of both membrane associated and secreted, secreted type mucins through mucin production in the conjunctival goblets and uh, corneal epithelial cells. Also, it acts by suppressing the production of inflammatory cytokines, which is also one of the etiological factors in dry eye syndrome. So, as you can see, in uh, core mechanism of the dry eye syndrome is mainly tear os os osmolarity, hyperosmolarity, inflammatory mediators, apoptosis, tear inseparability. So, it acts in it, uh, rebapamide acts in the drug in different at the different levels at four modes it increases the mu uh, secreted and membrane associated mucins also prevents the damage of microvilli uh, increases the production of goblet cells and also decreases the tear hyperosmolarity only the rare adverse effect seen with uh, rebapamide was bitter taste so it has to be approved for, uh, for uh, use in USA. Its safety and efficacy has been established in clinical trials and some experimental reports. So in this observational study, uh, we evaluate the study effect of 2% rebapamide ophthalmic suspension in the uh, patients with dry eye syndrome. So it was, uh, the objective was to study the therapeutic effect of 2% rebapamide ophthalmic suspension in dry eye disease. It included 50 uh, patients with observation and prospective study. All the diagnosed cases of dry eyes for a minimum period of uh, six months and willing to pass participate in the study were included. Presence of infective pathology, presence, uh, patients using other topical medications, use of contact lens and history of ocular surgery were excluded. The diagnosis of dry eye, dry eye was based on the diagnostic criteria of dry eye research group. Uh, complete ocular surface examination and anterior segment examination was done with slit lamp, uh, uh, slit lamp. Uh, at baseline, 2 weeks, 4 weeks, 8 weeks and 12 weeks follow-up was done. First, tear breakup film, uh, um, uh, T-butt measurement, shimmer test and interviews related to the dry eye subjects were performed and all the patients diagnosed with dry eye were prescribed 2% ophthalmic suspension administ uh, to be administered 4 times a day and follow-up was made. So, uh, our results were uh, total 50 patients were uh, included. Majority of the patients were between 51 to 60 years. Like it is a more of elderly patients' disease, with uh, women's being more about 61 uh, percent. So on uh, due like dry eye uh, symptom score, it, all the uh, parameters related to dry eye were decreased. Like they improved uh, when come from baseline to the uh, like summarizing mean dry eye related symptom score showed significant improvement from baseline. Two, two, uh, two weeks, four weeks, eight weeks and twelve weeks. Median fluorescent ocular surface training also showed significant improvement from baseline. t and shimmers, they, they also showed improvement, but the uh, improvement was not that significant. So, uh, subjective sim symptoms like foreign body sensation, feeling of dryness, photophobia showed improvement from baseline to six weeks. Such improvements uh, in symptom score contribute to the improved quality of life in patients with dry eye. This was compared to the study conducted by Uda et al which showed that mean dry eye symptom score uh, showed significant improvement from baseline. And fluorescent ocular surface training also showed significant improvement from the baseline. Uh, Kinishita et al. also showed improvement from the baseline. That is 1% and both 1% and 2% rebapamide was successful in uh, improving the fluorescent ocular surface uh, score. An increase in mucin-like substance in the cornea and uh, conjunctiva was observed in preclinical pre studies. Tear breakup film uh, breakup time also improved. And it also showed the improvement in corneal higher order abrasion, corneal, uh, coma like abrasion, and spherical like abrasion after the application of the rebapamide. It was compared, uh, compared to the study conducted by Koha et al. Uh, oh, 
uh, shimmer test showed improvement but it was not significant this was also similar to the study conducted by uda et al and uh, kinishota et al concluding 2% uh, ophthalmic 2% uh, abutment ophthalmic suspension in a, is an effective treatment for the dry eye the improvement of ocular surface condition after its application is remarkable for the patients especially in severe condition and well tolerated profile of the abutment makes it potentially useful treatment option for the dry eye so moreover this drug has a great potential to change the framework of treatment for ocular surface disorder in the future these are my references